Hello, today I'm going to talk about the floating toolbar that comes with your smart board. You see over here on the left, I have it already open and activated. This can be hidden by clicking the double arrows left or right. You can also decide to drag it from the left side of your screen to the right side of your screen. It's movable up and down and it can be, like I said, hidden away when you need more screen real estate. Now this toolbar is like a shortcut for all the tools that are available in the smart board software package. As you see right now, I have the pointer arrow. I have a couple pins up here, a highlighter, the uh, quick capture, eraser tool. I can open up a notebook file here, a blank one, the right click, and the magic pin, keyboard, and spotlight. And this last one here is the gear. And the gear is what let, allows you to remove or add more tools to your smart board floating toolbar. If I click the gear, you'll see I can customize the floating tools. And I can say I drag a pen off. I can also drag, let's say maybe I need a shape pen. So I like to use the shapes more often when I'm not in the notebook software. I can drag and add this on. I can also add the screen recorder. as this may be a tool I need to use if I'm demoing a different site or different application that is not a part of the notebook software. And for now, I'll click Done. And now you can see I have two pens, a shape pen, a highlighter, and this the new uh, recorder that I added. Now with the pens, I can, if I click on them, I'll get a gear. That means it's another setting, so I can add a different setting. So if I want to change the style of the pen, I can click Line Style. And here I can change the color, so maybe I don't want a black pen. I can have a red pen. Or you can use your color picker. Maybe I want this gold on the Mac, you can do uh, the crosshairs. Now I have a goldish pen. I can change the line thickness. I can change the style, so if it draws a solid line versus various types of dotted lines. And I can choose whether the start, when you start drawing, is one of these ends. And if I scroll down, I can do the same thing for the end. So maybe I want to make an arrow tool. Let me save the tool properties. And now you can see I have a, uh, a gold pen. So I can add multiple pens onto my floating toolbar and quickly have access to different colors. I can do the same thing with the highlighter. I can have multiple highlighters, pens on the toolbar. And I can change your colors, thickness, and save it. And you'll see the changes. So that's the basics of using the floating toolbar. Go ahead and open yours up. Try changing the configuration around and finding a layout that works best for you.